Hello. Hello, Vlog. Uh, we are not professional mechanics. We are far from that, and we do not know what we're doing, <laughs> but we are just going along for the ride. This is part yes, one sir. of the Big Aid series okay, of going to a Utah man. adventure. First, we have to soup up the Forerunner. So we have to Ooh. take off the these clamps here. One, two. Move this hose back and unplug this little tube here on the engine. We already and we will replace this air intake with the AFE power air intake. Looks like this. Um, and we also have a throttle body spacer that's supposed to add a few extra horses in my car. <laughs> Aiden needs a little bit of help here. Aiden, here. Oh, thank you. There you go. There you go, Aiden. Now you can really work on the car. All right, so once you get this all the way unscrewed here, this part is gonna is gonna pop off, and then like that, and then I think this clamp once that clamp's loose, that should just the whole thing should just pop off. So you really don't need to get it all the way off. And then you're gonna do the same thing on the other side here. Cut the video. After you get these removed, uh, just pop off your math sensor. There's a little. You just have to squeeze right here where my thumb and finger is and pull. Okay. So now to remove this little clip, you just stick your flathead screwdriver in between here, push in, and then lift up where it says 13. All right, um, you're gonna take your 10 mil socket here, remove this bolt here. I'm just gonna free this guy up. This guy. <laughs> Once you detach all the electrical cables and tubes, so this tube and the tube here in the back, this little right guy here, here attached there. And, um, Unscrew the fat 10 mil screw here. Uh, you can de de detach these clips that hold down the cover for the air intake. And you can start pulling stuff apart. The air intake. All right, sometime in the meantime, when you, uh, your partner is working on something else, you can or however can uninstall the math filter. What? The what the filter? The math sensor. It's the math? Out just like, this. like mathematics? Math. Uh, math mass airflow math airflow filter yep sensor so you can check those fat clouds with your car yep. now this hose is also attached back here with tape to some kind of mass. ours has tape on it yours may not um if yours doesn't you're just gonna have to take this guy out this system uh huh another one is okay so the little thing that was holding the... Do we have to pinch it together? You have to pinch it right the there. sides? Yeah. One side's already pinched. See the other side? It's, it's stopping mm -hmm. right there. Pinch that bitch. Let's go. Okay, here, you want to hold that up? Now remove the um, flat air filter and remove these screws in here. So it's going to be uh, one, oh, two, it's gonna be a tw three. One, two, three. Twelve mil. To get those three removed, you can pull out the box. Just like that. You're going to have a little clamp back here. It's another one of these guys. So you're gonna wanna pinch the sides here. Let's see if we can get it. And then this whole guy just comes out right here. Yep. Put it on the side, we're gonna be using it later for the gaskets in the holes. All right, so now we're gonna remove this bracket here. Uh, we went to the store and got an upgrade, you can see. Okay, we got it. All right, so we're gonna be installing the AFE Power Silver Bullet Throttle Body Spacer, which is gonna go right here in between the throttle body and the, I'm gonna call that the manifold. Um, yeah, you'll see when we're done. First, we're gonna have to remove these four bolts, one, two, three, and then the fourth one on the other side. And you're just gonna wanna make sure that you're holding this guy up so it's so this is not dangling by these wires here. Oh, but that's what it looks like separated. So oh, now we're going no. to place. Yeah, we can. You, hold you need my hands too. To be yeah. Yeah. So now we take the throttle body and we place it with the, with the top up, and the air in is going to be facing away towards where your intake is going to be, right there. And then your gasket here is there two sides? Is going to go. Doesn't matter what side. Is going to go in between the, the throttle, throttle body, spacer. body spacer and the throttle body. We went. Put the screw and then the flat washer and then the locking washer in. Yep. 
and then we tightened each screw increment at a time not just one screw fully in at a time grommet is supplied with the throttle um with the air intake so just hand install this don't use any tools into the front most hole on your fender or what is it called your wheel space or something just until tight with your hand so once we installed that thing by hand we grabbed the box provided with the AFE and they provided this rubber o-ring so it comes with extra, with extra length we ended up cutting some of it just with um, measuring with our eyeballs and you just have to kind of manhandle it on there spread these um, like lips I guess and put them around all spread right. the lips, boys. Spread the lips, boys. All right, and then you're gonna take these get your <laughs> these steel things out at the bottom or the top from the rubber grommets, and then you're just gonna squeeze the rubber grommets through these holes, both two of these, and then they're gonna be separate, and you're gonna use those again in the new box. All right. So we take these um, rubber grommets, rubber grommets, and shove them into the in. new box. The new box here into the parallel holes that it's are parallel be, with each yeah. other. It's gonna be the two that are farthest back in the vehicle. And you're going to take your little steel, uh, I don't know what to call these, bushings maybe? Probably not, but you're going to stick them in just like they were in the other one right there. Flush on both sides. We'll double check the other side. And again with the other one, pop them in. She's all set to go right there. Yep, that's flush. Okay, so once we got those grommets and metal things in, we just uh, put the box inside where the old box was. We just aligned that. Uh, can you shine the light in there, please? that hole that we hand screwed in we just aligned that, that hole you get the point there we go oh yeah and then you're supposed to make the um the o-ring here fit against the indent we're going to place the screws that we removed before from the body just two of them okay just one of them i think oh uh, maybe one of them we'll see okay go this guy is gonna go in this back one here and you're gonna feel it drop into the hole there and you start hand screwing it in and then once we can't do that anymore. Nice little underside right. angle here. And we're gonna take our film, wrench. We're gonna film through the, the box because it's so sick. Yep. This is why they mounted this uh, here so we can actually do some filming. We asked them for it specifically. Done it. And now we are going to use the supplied uh, 12 screw. Let me grab our socket. In the close one towards the engine. So the back right rear. And then after that, we're going to use this provided nut with the washer on the um, screw that's sticking out that we installed by hand. We got. Uh, this one screwed in and this one, these are 12, size 12. Um, we had to push the box a little bit to the, uh, towards the passenger seat to fit this screw in. And then we put this 13 washer here on top with the uh, 13 bolt. All right, so we're gonna be putting the, uh, the actual, the air filter in here. This is the Pro Dry S filter, uh, so you don't need to oil it. It's gonna pop right back in here this way. And then just get it over that and then it should sit pretty nicely in there if you can yeah so it should go should pop right in there and then we're going to take the, the large clamp found right here and this is going to go all the way around install the math sensor with the screws provided the provided screws the provided this guy's good yep and drive those screws into them holes perfect the other one shove it in there pop it right in there and screw it for the boys and the freaking screwer oh jeez. okay so so you're gonna take so it's gonna come with two clamps you're gonna take the smaller one put it on the side with no lettering it's gonna go here the bigger one's gonna go on the side with the lettering and that's gonna go out are you reading instructions mm -hmm. do you know what you're doing it just said to put it in here. Let me double check. Let me this get away. Yeah, so the, so the lettering on the coupler is going to be away from this guy. So it's smaller. It's going to go on here. All right, to get this thing on, what I did is I took off this bolt completely and disassembled this. 
put the rubber on without this so it, I could actually put it all the way around and get it nicely secure. Then I put this on and screwed it down. Now we're going to put on this clamp. Um, the reason the clamp's different because we, someone, dropped the nut into my hood somewhere. So, got to buy another one, but it's 9 o'clock, so we can't buy any one, so we'll do it tomorrow. So we're using the stock one. Now we have to insert the valve thing. So, um... Once you get this on, then you install this tube that connects your box to your engine. And this just slips into this air filter that we put on earlier. And then you have to tighten the uh, clamps. Then we attach this tube back onto this. I don't know what it's called. And then this tube onto this thing that we installed earlier, which comes with the kit. Uh, important detail, I think. So this box comes with these gaps here that are spaced out evenly. So tighten this down until these gaps close so that this doesn't come out easily when you pull it. Alright, so that's after the installation. I'm